Hi and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today I will show you how to replace the tape on a Roland tape delay. This is an RE501 Chorus Echo. It's the more expensive and better brother of the famous Space Echo. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We got lots of tutorials about mixing, mastering, gear, synthesizers and lots of good stuff. So let's open this box. You unscrew it and ta-da! That's what you get. I am going to put this on a side for a second. Now, the machine is on, and as you can see, this is real tape just rolling through the whole mechanism. This is the capstan, and it pulls the tape in. This is where the tape is stored, and then it's picked up again and run through the heads. So for now, we're just going to turn it off like that, and um, I'm going to open it, et voila. So as you can see, it, it has a precise path which we want to remember. So it goes right here, it goes all around, all around here, and then goes back there. Yeah, it sounds pretty straightforward. Let's remove it. Now we have this piece of tape and we want to measure its exact length so that we can replace it. Let's take a tape measure and see how long this is. This is about 1 meter 90. So that means that it's twice that. We have found out that this tape right here is pretty good for this machine. It's LPR35. So we're just gonna open it. So we need 3 meters 80 of this guy. This is an old trick that I used to do. Like 3 meters of this. 3 meters 80 it should be. All right, this should be sufficient. Let's see. So that's about right, three meters 80. This is where we're gonna cut it. For that, we will use this old Revox cutter. Like that. Take this bit, make sure that it's perfectly straight. One end. We put it here, then the other end, cut it like that. And now the two parts should join perfectly. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna use this adhesive strips. All right, this is a bit delicate. I used to do this all the time. I hope I still got it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. And then you need to do this with your fingernail. Make sure it adheres perfectly. This is going to go round and round for a long time. All right, that looks pretty cool. Actually, you know what? Let me clean it a little bit. I'm gonna use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and uh, these. Cool. Let me turn it on. Clean up the capstan. I'm gonna use a new one for the heads. Just a good once over. Maybe the capstan again. Cool. So now it's all nice and clean. Let's do the difficult bit and put the tape back in. Yes. Now I will need a little bit of patience. All right. I think I have it. Cool. Let's put the cover back on. And let's turn it on. Moment of truth. Oh, yes. Yes, we need to... All right, that's all correct. All right, let's see if this works now. Aha! Uh -huh.
so beautiful. And that's how you replace a tape on this machine. If you find this video useful, please remember to subscribe by clicking on this button. It helps us grow and make better and more videos for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.